r slash ask reddit what's something that you silently judge people for i hate when ppl leave their paper coffee cup on a random shelf in walmart when they're done with it that's so gross and entitled throw away your own garbage had someone blast music on the bus i looked at them like are you fucking serious she looked at me like i'm an asshole littering you are 100% a trash human if you throw trash on the ground. I don't care who you are, or what you look like, or where you come from. 100% trash. Hyping themselves up too much. Saying shit like that wouldn't fly with me, everyone knows not to mess with me or people look up to me or I'll have your back until you cross me like bro this isn't a movie, relax. I don't think these people understand that the more you have to hype yourself up, the less people actually think that of you. Not using your turn signals. God works in mysterious ways but you don't have to. Use the damn turn signal. Speaker phone in public. There is no way that you can hear the other end better than if you just held it to your ear like a normal, decent person. There's really no reason for it other than to annoy others around you. People who don't put the shopping cart back where it goes. People who chew with their mouth open. You'd be surprised. People who throw slash leave their trash in a parking lot. Especially a bag of food wrappers and your drink cup perfectly placed on the line of the parking spot. People who do that are fucking scumbags. Messing with your muffler to make your car sound like it's from the fast and furious. People who are oblivious to their kids shitty behavior in restaurants, supermarkets, anywhere. Not saying thank you if I hold the door for them. People who don't flush and doesn't wash their hands after using a toilet. It's really disgusting considering we just got done with the pandemic. Still a lot of people doesn't have the proper basic hygiene. It really aggravates me NGL. Not knowing the difference between there, there, and there. People who pick up fresh meat or a cooked chicken in the supermarket and decide they don't want it, but are too lazy to take it back to where they got it from. So they just dump it on a random shelf. So lazy, selfish, and wasteful. Something had to die to become food for someone and now it will just be thrown in the garbage. People scrolling on their phones when someone is talking to them. Though if I'm the one talking to them I loudly judge them. Excessively loud cars. Why is your car so loud? Do you know that everyone hates you? Also people who don't like certain movies slash music slash TV shows and make fun of the people who do like them. Not everything in the world has to be made for you. Just ignore it and let people like things. People who don't spay or neuter their pets. Not saying please or thank you when talking to servers at restaurants. Face tattoos. They just look so stupid and trashy. Being rude to strangers, littering, talking on speakerphone in public. People who upload several selfies every day and video and document every little thing they do. People who just stop walking as soon as they enter a door. It happens so many times at grocery stores. Move out of the way please. You are not the only person trying to use the door. When I'm driving and let someone go in front of me and I don't get the thank you wave. Manners. You can drive a shitty car, be homeless and dress funny, but if you are rude, I am gonna judge. Also, people who are rude to restaurant and service workers. People who scream at slash abuse their kids in public. It's just as bad as people who let their kids run absolutely wild, just on the other end of the spectrum. People who seem to attract issues or drama at work, school life must be exhausting but also wtf are you doing that you have all the bad luck all the time like leaving a toilet clogged and letting someone else fix it i judge you hard 
Children do not get judgment for this. Anyone with a blue line Punisher logo on their person or vehicle. Talking on speaker phone in public. People that make gender identity and disabilities such as autism or ADHD their whole personality. Edit. I know it's part of who they are what I mean specifically is it's all they can talk about and have no other qualities besides being that person. Dogs off leash while hiking. Especially when they say he's friendly. As he's bounding up the hill at you full force. And then jumps up on you. And they say, he never does that. Sure dude. People who smoke or vape around kids. Naming their children trashy names. People who allow their children to disrespect them and not correct their behavior. No parenting situation is perfect, and I am certainly not either but allowing your child to speak to you in a disrespectful manner allows the child to think that's okay and can affect future relationships with their peers, teachers, workmates, and future partners etc. People who don't move IT on a left turn green arrow. They should be jailed. How their kids behave in public. Should have would have please shut up. Me and her was. I never hear the end of the sentence because my ears hurt too much. Having kids with more than one person young in life. Me as an European living in the USA, I silently, and with a bit of sadness, silently judge Americans being so patriotic while being screwed by their government. Not cleaning whilst cooking. Spelling errors and grammar. I won't go into a shop if their signs have them. Or shops deliberately misspelled e.g. kerwosh. Trying to act big and tough or be commanding without trying to ask for things casually and respectfully beforehand. Putting feet on seats in public transport. Not performing the Dracula cough or sneeze and just unleashing it into the open air. People who have entitlement meltdowns over minor inconveniences, especially in retail settings. Having multiple kids without being able to support them financially. Being rude to their kids. Weak slash limp handshakes. Edit to add, I'm a woman if it matters, so it's not a weird masculinity thing. Not washing their hands after using the toilet. Married people staring at other men slash women around their spouse. Blaring their music on a hiking trail. Wear headphones or sit in your car to listen to that shit. I'm here for the peace and nature sounds, not your f asterisking crap EDM. People who are openly okay talking about vulgar things in public or to others they just met. If you wear your sunglasses on the back of your neck, or head, I'm going to assume you are an asshole. Parents letting their child stay on their iPads all damn day. Smell, I won't say it but if you smell like a gentleman club employee or a pile of trash I make a mental note not to get too close. Too much smell both good and bad point to bad hygiene. Obese children. It's your responsibility to protect the health of that kid. I used to be extremely judgmental. I don't know if I made a pact with the universe to put me in my place as quickly as possible so that I would learn not to judge but I'm glad it happened. I can remember specifically several times being judgmental and being served the exact same situation what happened to me almost immediately. An example, I had a friend who had an extremely messy house. I talked non-stop crap about her to my husband. I didn't care how overwhelmed or disabled she was. I snarkily commented that she should just make one of her half a dozen kids help. I didn't take into consideration that she was the only income earner working three jobs. Or that her kids were having a lot of social issues. Fast forward three months. I had a complete autistic burnout from not getting the medication I need, working in a toxic environment and getting sick. Autistic burnouts can last for years. All of a sudden my house was unmanageable.
I didn't have the energy or the mental capacity to follow through with any tasks. My kids help but they definitely have a different version of clean than I do. My husband is the same. Then at the same time my oldest son came to live with us full time. I shared custody with his grandparents. He's also autistic and was going through burnout and extreme meltdowns due to his grandparents finally being held responsible for abuse. My other two kids hit puberty and immediately lost their minds. All of this happened within three months of my judgmental BS. I am still trying to recover and my house will probably never look the way it did before the burnout. You know what that friend did? They offered to come over and help me even though they are also struggling. That is only one of the experiences. I'm very careful about who I judge because I have no idea what they're going through. When I experience what they've experienced I finally get a clue. It's hard for my autistic brain but things aren't always black and white. I'm not going to place judgment if I don't want to walk in their shoes. What I do know is, instead of judging them I ask if they need help. We all need to help each other a little bit more. Everything. I am that horrible. Woman face palming medium light skin tone grinning face with big eyes. People dropping their litter slash trash in a store, thinking an employee there will clean it up because it is part of their job after all. Clean up after yourselves, that goes in any situation slash place to be honest. If you have litter slash trash, take care of it properly yourself. People who create their own problems and then complain about them. My job is so difficult and I barely get paid, meanwhile they chose to work and their husband makes 150k plus a year. My schedule is so full, I don't have time to do homework, even though they chose to be in 3 sports and all 5 school bands. I got a $400 speeding ticket, sad face, it's almost like speeding is illegal. If someone is the source of their own problems they have no right to complain about it. People who breed dogs to sell them with no proper papers, backyard breeder, trashy and cruel to the population of dogs in shelters. People who poke fun at their kids in front of others, yikes. People dragging their feet while walking. Parents that bring their children to R-rated movies like Sausage Party. Tossing lit cigarette butts out your car window while you're driving. Wearing PJ pants in public. I was at a festival yesterday and the amount of teenage girls doing this was crazy. Some wearing slippers too. People with self-perpetuated trashy drama who just have to casually drop the sordid details into every conversation. Even at work. I'm trying to update the schedule, Linda. I don't want to hear about the brawl at your stepniece's Disney themed wedding and how the whole party got thrown out of the VFW hall. If you have a car that is well beyond your means. The absolute garbage in people's shopping cart at the grocery store. I'm just shocked at what people are putting in their bodies. Especially the garbage they feed to their children. Smoking. When parents don't discipline their kids or correct them when they're acting out in public. Being Christian, especially evangelical. Their taste in music. Not returning their shopping cart to wherever it belongs. People who post pictures of their kids on social media constantly. Or post 135 photos of a birthday party. Likewise, people who use their kids to get social media like slash attention. When people try to use a big word in a sentence and obviously don't even know the meaning of the word. Or, even if they use a small word in a sentence. And obviously don't know the meaning of the word. People who bring babies into their crappy households. Piercing their baby's ears. Ponytails on men grown to hide a bald spot. People who shit on other people for things that literally don't affect them at all. Who cares what music someone likes, what food they enjoy, or what they do for their hobbies. If it makes them happy and doesn't hurt anyone, all power to them. 
Honestly, being obese. Just move more and don't eat more than you need, it's not hard. But I silently judge that, because it's probably not the right way of thinking. Parents who smoke while carrying or walking with their small children. People that take up more than one spot when they park. People that get angry at a minimum wage service employee for something out of their control. E.g. We are out of X thing you wanted to buy. Product X has now raised in price. Like buddy, you think the cashier sets the prices? How dare you bully them? This is probably not a good example because I have on occasion failed to remain silent when I see this. Judging others. Disobedient dogs. The average dog owner is absolutely clueless. I walk my dog every morning, she is very well behaved because I train her. Half of the dogs in my neighborhood absolutely lose their mind if they see another dog or human, and their owners are absolutely clueless about what to do. These dogs are past training and now in need of rehabilitation. Please, I'd you get a dog you need to research how to crate train it so it's not living under the stress of letting you down because you never taught it where to pee. You need to socialize it. You need to give it guidance on behaviors. You need to support it when it's unsure of something new. You need to teach it commands so that it will be obedient in public. And you need to teach it how to walk on a leash so that you may bother enjoy that every day without both being stressed. You that the dog is pulling, the dog that it wasn't taught not to pull and doesn't know it's doing something wrong. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe to never miss an upload.